Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to part two of the Mystic Unicorns Make. And um, today I am taking a look. I have folded up most of my, I've cut these out and folded them up of the envelopes. These fold in and in and I haven't really glued much. I did save one here to fold up just so you could see how it is done. It's actually very easy, and you could use a scoreboard for this. I did not. I just simply folded along the lines. You can see where the changeover occurs in color. And so that, although that's a very pretty red, or pink rather, it does get put inside here. So that's, and it makes now a very pretty pocket. I do want to put this one together and I'm going to use a little bit of Fabri-Tac for this. And I'm just going to put, let's see, I want it to be a top pocket. So we're just gonna put a little bit here. And I did take my walnut stain and I did stain the inside of that and I did do this little corner piece. And now there's a little pocket. Now this doesn't have, uh, it has not come with a an attachment, so I will have to come up with an attachment for that, which we will do shortly. Let's let that glue dry first. And we need to glue these pages together. I'm gonna take those other pieces of the signature out Remember I said that I wanted to make pockets here. So let me take my washi tape off because I don't need that now. That was just to remind me that that's what I wanted to do there. And I think I'm gonna do a side pocket here and a top pocket here. So let's go ahead and put in the side pocket. And to do that, I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. Come on. There we go. A little bit of glue along the top, a little bit of glue along the bottom. And real quick before I go too far, I am going to put a thumb notch right there. So I don't forget that that's what I'm doing, that that's a pocket. All right, now I have lined that up. And I think I need to put another thumb notch here. There we go. And now I'm going to glue here and here. So now I'm going to put my glue along the two outside edges. This will also make for a stronger cover because it will be of a double thickness. This was a complete accident on my part, making sure that that's lined up. Okay. I'm going to take my walnut stain and stain that top just a little bit more. I'm not gonna, I've got a little bit of an overhang here because of the way the page is printed. I'm not gonna worry too much about it right now. Okay, we're gonna let that sit and dry. I think I ever did that. All right, we're going to let that part sit and dry. <gasps> Sorry, I'm hiccuping. All right, now what we want to do is, now this journal is not going to require much in the way of uh, decorating because it really is, these are beautiful images to begin with. I don't want to cover them up too much. So I have... In fact, I was trying to see how that fit the other day. 
Let's just put one on a page to start with. Do I want this one opposite it? I think I do. And I'm going to go along my edges. Now I suppose you could, if you notice how these are folded up, I don't want to, I might put a little piece down here to tack it closed, but I don't really want to do too much as far as, I don't want to, um, I, I like the, the, oh, for crying out loud, what am I trying to say? I like the fact that that's got a bit of a gap so that when I attach it, let me pull this up. When I attach it, and hopefully I can get you in the camera and see it, you can see that it makes a, a nice wide pocket there. Uh, uh, there's a, a gap. Whereas if I put these right to it, then it's it's less of a gap. So I want I like the fact that these pockets are here that make a little bit more room in them. And to attach it to the actual page, I'm just going to come down with a line here and here and here. And attach it to the page. Now when I put my journal card in, there's some space and there's some space for some other pieces as well. All right, let's keep going. Like I said, you really don't need to do a lot of decorating here because there's already a lot on it. Deciding which pocket I want where. Okay, I think I like that there, but I did not trim this very well. So I'm going to trim that down a little bit more. There we go. And ink it up. Stopping it. And I'm doing them towards the outside of the book rather than the inside, so it doesn't make this, the spine too thick. Make sure that all of that glue is down there. All right, now I'm gonna to go to the back of the book and do something similar because, let's see, what I've, I've got two more of these left, three more. Oh, I have one more here that I didn't fold. So let me fold up this one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put my pockets in, and then I will be right back. Okay, I have all my pockets in. So I have put um, a pocket here and a pocket on this one. And then coming in, I left this particular one empty. I do like all the lined writing spaces. I added this one in here. It's this one in reverse. And I really liked how the two of them worked together. And then I put this one here in the middle. And where did I put the other Oh, I put this one here because I liked the colors. And again, they're kind of reverse images. So I liked that. And I think that was, oh, and then I put this one here. Um, so there's my pockets. Now, my concern is that all of these pockets are relatively thin. And so there is one card that will fit with the thinness. But that's really about all of the ones that's going to fit in there. Although, hang on, I've got, where'd that one go? There it is. I do have a slightly wider spot that that one can, put, can fit into. But although I have to, let me do that, that real quick. And put the hole in there.
there we go. I don't have one that's exactly the right size, but I can kind of do that up and then we'll we'll put a tag or a um, tassel on that in a bit. So that one will fit in there. But I also have this one. Will that fit? That won't quite fit. That's a little bit too wide. And I have this, which will also fit in there, but I don't want that next to the same color. And although I think I want to do you like here with a paper clip. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, I'm going to stop for a minute because what I need to do before I add anything else to this and do any other ephemera pieces is sew my signature together. I have put the cover back on it. And so I, and I do have a piece to go down in there. This needs to be um, cut down a little bit more and have a tip put on it. So let me go ahead and sew this signature in. I don't sew on camera because I'm very, very slow at it. So I will stop my camera and I'll be right back once I have sewn my signature together. Okay, I am back. I have gotten my signature sewn in. Um, it's a good thing I didn't film it. Like I said, it always takes me a while. And I had to undo and redo and oh my glory, it is absolutely the worst part of making this. So I wanted to figure out where to put my tabs at this point and I have 12 pages. So I'm thinking every four, although I don't know that I want to cover up, I might put them on here because that way I'm not covering up my, let's see if I can do it that way. If I do it there and there and there, okay. I think I want to skip that one. I want to skip the one in the middle. So we'll put one here. And I have already inked these. So I'm going to put this one up high. There we go. And then I'm going to skip that one. And I'm going to come to this one. I have four of them. I could do more. But I think I like the the extra one I kept it because I thought I, this will make a nice little pocket or a nice little tag I liked it just the way it was okay looking to see about where I want it okay there. That works out all right. And then I want the third one. Mm, maybe I do want to use all four. Because I think I want the third one here. Okay. Sorry, didn't mean to go quiet on you. I'm just concentrating. And I have to lift that so I can do that tab. But not lose my place. Now I have glue all over my fingers. There we go. And 
at this piece. Sorry for my reach. I need to cut. This is going to be the journal card that goes in the top loading pocket in the front. So I need to cut it down a little bit so that it will fit in there. Because right now it's a little bit big. I'm okay to leave it height-wise, but I think I need to cut it down width-wise. That was not a straight cut, even a little bit. Let's try that again. Okay, there. Straighten up that cut. All right, let's see if that works. In our top loading pocket. This was one of the ones that I had upside down. That's I think is going to fit in there just fine. It is. Yep. Okay, I might want to take a little bit off the bottom. Let's take a little bit. Let's, okay. We'll just take you right off the top a little bit. And then let's ink. And now you hardly won't even know that I cut pieces off of it, except that I made a bit of a glitch down here. There. Okay, so that's one pocket piece done. It is a piece to go in back here. And I don't have another piece because the other piece that I have is upside down. No matter what I weigh, I do it, it's upside down. So what I think I'm going to do with this because I need some wider pockets is I'm going to cut this so that I have a wider pocket here. And then we'll see what we do with that. Don't can't have it quite so wide, however, that I can't fit it onto my page. So let's just do this. And ink, 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 ink. And let's find a spot for it. Nope. Okay, that's a possibility. Nope, because that's got some pink in it and this one does not. There we go. Now we've got the same colors here. Okay. Now I have a wider. Oh, you know what? I've got that side. Yeah, we'll, we'll flip that side over. I don't even know if I'm on camera. I'm just gluing. If I'm not on camera, it's not a big deal. There we go. We'll put you down here. And now I have a place for my larger pocket. I'm going to let that dry. And I still have to put a closure on that pocket. Okay, and I can put this. Actually, you know what? I think I might like that as a side tuck. If I do that as a side tuck, I still have, oops, still have this to slide into something. I could just do that as a slide tuck to put that in. And I can put some things, obviously, some of the wider pieces in here. All right, let's do this as a side tuck. Because <clears throat> I like this side 
It's really pretty. I like, I like all of them. To be honest with you, I really like this set. But it does not require... Okay, I'm going to lose my the tip of my unicorn's horn. I collect unicorns. When I was uh, in college, I have... Uh, I got a lot of unicorns. And one of my favorite things, I have a jar that's called Unicorn Horns. And it was empty. It was just a nice, pretty ceramic jar. Um, and I liked it a lot. It was very pretty. I'm going to actually come in a little bit more on this one. And um, then, oh... I don't know, partway into my marriage, I dropped one of my unicorns and the horn fell off. And I thought, I know exactly where it's going. So I still have the horn, I still have the unicorn. And they are the, the horn is now in my jar that says unicorn horns. So when you open it up, there's actually a unicorn horn in it. Because why wouldn't there be? Now, if I do this, as a side tuck, am I going to be able to slide that in? Or do I want to tuck it? I think I want to tuck it this way. So if I want to tuck it that way, where do I want to put it? I could put it here, but now I'm still I'm back to doing it in the inside. I could put it here. I really like that. I like how that one's come out. I don't want to cover that up. I like the open space. It's kind of a image of an image of an image. We'd still have to go on the inside. Maybe. There we go. There we go. All right. So although I messed up these, um, pages, I did not let them go to waste. I have found a use for them. Come on. There we go, and then we will fill this up and we will stick it right in there. Perfect. Okay, so I hope you're having fun with this particular journal. It has got some really cool pieces to it. I obviously have some things left to work on. Let me work on uh, putting tabs on tops of these, and I will be back in a few minutes. Hey there, I am <clears throat> making my button closure here. Uh, it's not really so much of a button, it's just a little... This is a three-quarter inch round, and this was some of the uh, paper that was around the outside here. In fact, it might have come from that one. <clears throat> and I am going to darken it up with my walnut stain. There. This is my Stampin' Off page there. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on half of it right there. Set that there so that serves as just a little bit of a tuck. So now it's now it'll stay put. And then I've decided I'm not going to do anything with these because I think these are nice coloring pieces. Somebody might wish to color those in. So I'm going to put those 
inside my pocket. They fit just nicely in there. Oops, the glue is not yet dry. Put that there and then tuck it into the pocket. There we go. It's all tucked in. Now I will tell you that I did do a couple of extra cards. Um, I What I did for these, I took the pictures that she sent me, the pages that had the double, you know, because all of these have a double piece on them, and I cut them in half and I made some tag cards out of just those pieces, just because I wanted some extra spots. Okay, I still have to put some charms on there, and I still have to make a back card for back there. Just looking to see. Now these are too wide for there, so I need a skinny something there. I've got a skinny something there. All right, pausing, and I'll be right back. Okay, I just printed out myself another whole page so that I could use it for a pocket. I'm going to take a minute here and cut down this pocket, or this, this uh, page, to put into the pocket. Now, the difference here is I did not do anything on this side of it. I am going to have to trim it down, unfortunately, at the top and the bottom in order to make it fit. into that sleeve. I'll take those and get rid of those. And let's see if that fits before I ink it up. Go back to this side pocket. But because there are so many options, you can choose to do a color piece. You can choose to do um, a, a color journal. You can do one of just the black and whites. I told you I really like these black and white ones. Although that's really kind of a teal and white. Okay. Let's see if that's going to fit. Is that going to work? Come on, behave yourself. The problem with deep pockets is that you've got to get it in exactly right or it's not going to and straight all the way through or it's just not going to work. Perfect. Okay, let me ink up those edges and I think we are very close to being done. I'll give you a walk through. We'll take a, a look through here and we will see. Now with these, because I didn't put anything on the back of this one, I'm going to go ahead and ink the back of it as well. I did not ink the, uh, the backs of most of the others because they're little and I don't think it really makes that much of a difference on the smaller cards. But this is a larger card, and so let's go ahead and ink it up. All right. Now, before I do that, I do want to put a tab on it. And again, I have... I can just... Hang on. I'm thinking about how to play with this a little bit. I also have a couple of other pieces here that I do like, so I can use these as tabs. Maybe I'll do that. Let's just cut that down, and we'll make this tab up. I like that little flower. So this is a nice other advantage that you have with these is that because she has printed, when you print these, you, you get them with this extra backing, this extra background. That's something that you can then use these as you wish. Now I'm taking the color down on them. You don't have to. You can do whatever you want with them because, you know, that's the wonder of these. She does have these licensed so that you can make them to sell, and I will be selling this journal. But um, you, I think I'm going to just fold that right in half. And 
uh, yeah, no, you can sell, you cannot sell the digital files, obviously, but you can certainly sell the, um, the, any journal that you make with using them. So yes, this will be for sale. on my coffee shop. And I won't be doing a separate walkthrough. This will be the only walkthrough that I'm doing of it. Now, I think, now because the store stream goes this way, so I, want, I definitely want it over here. my tab on. This journal is very close, if not done, very close to done. There. Okay. Now we have a little bit of struggle to get it back in again, right? Let's just open it up. just has to go in straight and that's the key is to get it in straight there it goes there just perfect we're gonna leave it as it is all right still needs charms what else does it need here we've got our tag here so we've got that piece there I'm not gonna play with it Oh, I did do it. I did do that particular page. It just didn't, for some reason, register. Okay, I still need a tag here. All right. We'll keep that in mind. Need a tag here. I have this here. I have put tabs or tags inside there. I rounded this out. That makes a nice bookmark, but I also liked how it just slid right in there. Could also use that as a belly band. Or you could cut out the circles and use the circles in a different way. So there's lots of choices. I love these kits that give you lots and lots of choices. I added some purple and blue um, embroidery floss. That's embroidery floss to that. Of course, my center is uh, variegated purple lavenders. So yeah, I might consider doing just a black and white version of this. I wanted to use up all of these pages because they're so beautiful. You could also do a brown version, a sepia toned one. So you, again, options, lots and lots of options. Rainbows, just beautiful work. Beautiful digitals to play with. Okay, and then my tab in the back. I'm not going to do another walkthrough of this. Um, I am going to, when I when you see the pictures posted of it, this will have charms on it. Uh, but if you are interested in purchasing this, look for the link in my coffee shop. Please, if you have not yet checked out Torgy's uh, website, please make sure you take a look at her. Um, I'm going to have her YouTube piece linked down below where it will have all of her information. So go to hers and take a look at her walkthroughs. And she has some really cool pieces that she has done as well. This is not her only kit. There are several other kits as well. I think she has fairies and... Um, she has a, a C1, I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Go check her out. She's absolutely wonderful. So thank you for joining me on this little journey, making this unicorn, mystic unicorn piece, uh, journal, ah, words. I have words. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure you hit subscribe and then go down and subscribe to Torgies as well. In the meantime... This is Cindy signing off.